beautiful Miramichi, New Brunswick, and I'm joined by Terry Weldon. Terry. Terry, it's always great to see you, buddy. So, here we are. We're in the barn. Tell us, how did this all start out? Well, this was the Whalen homestead. My father grew up here, and uh, the barn is 95 years old. His father and his grandfather built it after my grandfather got back home from World War I. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, they built a well, and they put an uh, aluminum roof on it, so it never got wet. So, it's as straight as the day it was built. Wow. Give or take an inch or two, I suppose. <laughs> But uh, we all get old, yeah. Mr. Wheeler, and as we grow old, we sag a little. Yeah, that's right. But uh, it was a working barn. There was horses and pigs and those types of things back in the day. And now there's musicians. Is now there's some musicians. sort of subliminal message here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's any donkeys or jackasses, but there is now. There is there's a jackass coming in the summer, yeah. <laughs> but uh, this uh, last spring, I always liked the idea of house concerts, and I know you hosted house concerts. Yes, I have. And it's a very intimate setting, and it's you know you don't have to go rent a big hall, and you know you you're there to listen to the artists and support the artists. And I didn't have space in my house to do that—a very small house. Yeah. So I said to my father, I said, "Why don't we kind of take the barn and kind of gut it a bit?" You know, I mean, we had had a family construction business in the uh, late '80s and '90s. And the place was full of junk. I mean, so anyway, uh, last spring I said, well, maybe when school's over, because I teach uh, at a high school through the year, so when school's over, why don't we uh, kind of gut things out? Well, he, he wouldn't wait. My father's a, a man of action. <laughs> and uh, So uh, two dumpsters and 40 pounds later, he had stripped the place, and uh, it was ready to go. So I did four shows last summer just as a trial to see how it was going to take off and yeah. this summer we decided starting on uh, June 18th we would do 13 shows every Thursday night. Cool. And so far we've had Dan Dewar on here, yeah. we have had uh, John Camel John, mm -hmm. and those are blues guys but we also had some other people in, I mean a, a mix of John uh, Richard from Camelton has been here. I have some great shows coming up, next week we have uh, Keith Hallett from Fredericton, another blues guy, mm -hmm. but I have Bobby Cameron, a Cape Breton boy. Mm -hmm. uh, who's now in Edmonton. He's uh, released a new CD. He's kind of coming across the country doing a CD launch. He's here in a couple weeks. Kendra Gale, who's in the Bunch of Girl. Band. Yeah. They, he, they have a really, really fat sound oh, for, for two, just a small group. For, for two, two people, people drums yeah. and guitar, and she's incredible. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, the people that are coming in. And you know, the crowds are building. It's taking a little while to get it off the ground, but the crowds are building. And I just want a place where someone's coming through it's an extra venue for them to play. Yep. It's a listening crowd. People are very supportive buying uh, CDs and T-shirts, whatever type of merch the artist might have. Yeah. And a few extra bucks in their pocket. You have so, got a Facebook it. group. I do. It's called uh, Wales Barn. It's it's under you know you find my page and you'll find it attached to it. So yeah. that's TerryWhalenBand.com. Uh, so check that out. Wales Barn in Miramichi. Thank Thanks. you, Terry. Thanks, Terry. Always a pleasure. Slapped us from his clothes.